So the Halo Infinite playlist update is live and it comes with some significant changes to the challenge system as well. 343 tries to sell us the color brown as well as our first look at performance based XP within Halo Infinite. So in this video we're going to discuss what these changes are and how these new modes play out in Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving our Halo news and informational video. If you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, well, you can always tap subscribe. So let's just get right into the content here. So on our end, there is going to be no need for an update on the player's end. This is a game site update. If you click on the multiplayer, you can now see the offerings of all the new modes. We have quick play, bot mode, big team battle as what we've had previously. Now we have Fiesta, Free For All Slayer, Tactical Slayer, which is SWAT, and then you have Team Slayer and Ranked Arena is still in there as well. So Ranked Arena is remaining as the only ranked mode in Halo Infinite, which personally, I like it that way. I understand that there's a lot of people out there who want Ranked Slayer, want Frank, Free For All, Ranked SWAT, and things like that. I'm sure 343 has heard those criticisms and feedback, and they're probably weighing out whether or not it's necessary to divide up the players even more based on ranked and social playlists. An important thing to note that Quick Play still has Team Slayer as an option within its playlist as well, so it has not been removed. So it's not just Team Objective anymore. It's just gonna be Team Slayer, just Quick Play and Objective as you've always known before. It's just now there is a free for all Slayer and then there is a Team Slayer option as well. There are no variants within these game modes either. Free for all Slayer is AR pistol starts. Team Slayer is just the Team Slayer that we've come to know and love already in Halo Infinite. Fiesta as well. Fiesta, we all know how that plays out, but how does Tactical Slayer play out? So a lot of the challenges this week, at least what I'm seeing right now is like play comp competitive games, complete Tactical Slayer games, complete Tactical Slayer matches. We have our first like skill based score right here, which is earn cumulative score in ranked matches. That's 2000 points. Now this isn't really that difficult. I think as long as you just kind of play like a game, maybe two, you'll get the score. But Sketch did say previously, this is our kind of our first step to go to a skill based, performance based XP. Like I was kind of expecting more of like a separate kind of challenge system. But I'm glad to see that these challenges are coming into the game. Got that same challenge for BTB, which is earn a cumulative score of 5,000, win a ranked game, win any matches, kill an enemy Spartan with a Ravager just one time. I think that one's fine. The Ravager definitely needs a buff. Earn cumulative score in free for all, it's 2,000. That shouldn't be too difficult either. Another one is kill enemy spartans with a headshot that's 10 times over pretty straightforward that's just plain halo pretty much especially if you get swat that's gonna be an easy one to do right there get 20 assists that's a new one i haven't seen before kill enemy spartans and team slayer so you have to play that and get 20 kills in total in that that shouldn't be too tricky well the main theme i'm seeing throughout this like we've had these win x amount of games challenges before but the big thing about this is that they're tied to modes that are just like competitive or play team slayer play tactical slayer and things like that just play a game that's more simple, a lot easier to accomplish than like win a stockpile match in BTB, which for me would take way too long for one, just to get stockpile and then two, actually win that game. A few nights ago when I was on stream, I had to just play a Team Slayer game, but I was playing in quick play. It literally took me an hour and a half just to get that Team Slayer game. So I'm really glad that these challenges right here have changed up a lot to make it a lot less painful to try to just complete a game. So I figured since we're in the game right now, let's take a look at the store that's up for this week. And the Honored Weapon Set Bundle is for $15. It might get my money, not gonna lie, because this attachment to your assault rifle right here looks so freaking cool. Oh my God, that is really tempting. But then I was looking at everything else in here, guys. I don't know if it's really gonna be worth it for me to do this because this assault rifle coating, it's all right. Like it just kind of looks a little like cartoony toyish to me. I'm not really much into it. But guys, this, this freaking golden eagle attachment oh my god that looks so sick you also get a fun kind of grunt leak weapon charm that might get you know kind of a fun little addition there these other ones are like the jackal emblems which i'm honestly i'm not going to utilize because i have my uh pilot emblem that i like to rock because it's uh, a little more rare and it's a little more special to me it has a little more meaning to me personally the same kind of situation with the mud hog wild set right here which i mean it's 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 just brown that's, that's the coating that you're getting. You get brown and it's for $10. And I'm like, oh, that's uh, three for three. I think you need to do a little better on that, to be honest. But this 
that comes with this whole set though are these mud flaps for your warhog which not gonna lie are pretty sick but literally everything else is just like the coating brown which i'm just like not that interested in uh that's, that might be in their situation honestly where like i feel like 343 should try a little harder when it comes to their microtransactions for seven dollars you can get this sweet success pack which actually has like the nice little success kid meme as a stance which actually is kind of funny if you're like an internet boomer such as myself who understands that reference you also have a tea bag weapon charm which is pretty sweet and then you also have some of these emblems you can have onto your stuff as well if you want to show your sweet success flex and the big boy 20 dollars pack here is a has op armor set this is for the mark 5 reach armor set as well which this coating it looks pretty clean not gonna lie but again like don't think it feel like it stands out a whole lot you do get the helmet here but again like this kind of falls under the same category as previously where like since you're kind of just like reselling old reach armor to us again i'm just not a big fan of that i feel like this is something that should be in the battle pass not necessarily something that needs to be sold but damn this golden eagle though oh my god with this golden black camo that i have for my assault rifle from the rockstar coatings like oh this is really tempting oh that's so tempting i feel like it would only make sense for us to jump into a game here so let's search up and see if we can find a tactical slayer game and the reason why I want to search this up is, is it going to be like sidekick starts, which I think would be pretty good, honestly, or would it be BR starts to be more traditional to the experience? Because we did have like Magnum starts in Halo 5, which I actually really preferred in SWAT for Halo 5. But uh, let's jump into the game, see if we have like the proper starting weapons for Tactical Slayer and see how well it plays out. So let's get into it. Now I think I'm curious if there are going to be any equipment. Traditionally in Halo, there has never really been like equipment or any kind of extra stuff when it comes to Sly or SWAT. It's always just been just like you, your gun, and your wits kind of thing. Uh, I do see a battle rifle on my back right there, so it does make me think that it's going to be a battle rifle start and battle rifle only pretty much version of the game, which looks to be. So yeah, it looks like there is no like grenades at start, which is good. Uh, no weapon pickups right here, as you can see. And me not being on the map anymore because I just got annihilated. There is no pad down here either where normally equipment would be, so it does seem like there be no equipment in this game. So some of your traversals that you probably come to love and expect when it comes to Halo Infinite might not be available in this game, sadly. There we go, we got a headshot. SWAT on this map might be pretty difficult as the angles are just like pretty tough to see. This map already plays rather standoffish already on just a regular Slayer. I can only imagine how much more standoff if it would be playing on this map with battle rifles and like one shot kills. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Not that time though. <laughs> now I don't usually do gameplay commentaries on my channel guys, just cause usually I find them kind of honestly kind of boring. Uh, though if you guys do like that kind of stuff, I definitely would suggest checking out my Twitch channel as well. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. Usually we start the first hour just kind of chatting, doing some, over some Halo news and information stuff that usually you can't really discuss within a video or something like that. And so if you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below and then also in the pinned comment here where you can find my Twitch channel. Like I said guys, it's a fun time to come out and hang out. You know, ask me some questions, get, to get, get some games in as well. Perfectly timed to do that. Well, the reason I felt like a co gameplay commentary was necessary for this one, just because, well, it's a new mode and SWAT has always been kind of a changing settings kind of experience uh halo infinite being a new game we want to see how it actually does play out there we go we got a kill there friend got shot right here so maybe there's maybe somebody popping okay they spawned behind me so most likely they're spawning on this side of the map there a nice little double kill i knew that there was gonna be a guy right over there just because of how important it is to keep track of who's alive and who's dying on your team when it comes to playing SWAT especially. Uh, very much more tactical kind of gameplay. You have to be much more strategic with your movement. You want to make sure like you know what you're doing. If you don't, if you're just kind of wandering around the map, you're going to get annihilated real fast. So I'm just kind of holding my own right here. I'm pretty sure there's someone around this corner over here. I'll mark that for my team so hopefully they can see that. Team my teammate got annihilated over there, so most likely they're on that long hallway on the side of the map. Um, but I've not seen anybody. But there we go, there we go. There we go, see? And I told you, they ran on the sideway hallway. There's probably going to be someone popping up right over here. That's all his flash of his battle rifle. There we go. Lots of bolts flying over to the left side, so most likely someone right over in here as well. 
Doing a little slide kind of maneuver, jump maneuver. Yeah, I saw his foot down there in that room, but I'm not gonna push it because he has the advantage on me. Whoa, but he knows the advantage on me, okay. Also, SWAT's gonna be an amazing mode for you guys to grind out challenges, to grind out gameplay modes and stuff like that. If you're just looking to play a lot of modes and gain some good XP, SWAT's gonna be the way to do it, dude. Previously, uh, bot matches were really great just to kind of get through your games fast. But um, in this game, for SWAT, you know, they, get, they go by pretty quick. Like usually they go about like four or five minutes long or something like that for a SWAT game. Uh, sometimes up to like seven minutes if it's like a really slow game. Uh, but for the most part, they're pretty quick. So if you're looking to kind of grind out your challenges in PvP, SWAT might be the mode to do that, guys, to help you rank up a lot faster, too. I um, mean, yeah, I definitely will need to play a few more games in to get the data in to do a proper video for it. But for the most part, SWAT's always been a really great game mode for just like quick games to get a lot of kills easily. We get some challenges completed here, hopefully. Our daily challenges. Play a match, get 300 XP. Yeah, can we, oh, we completed a challenge there as well. Again, uh, I think it was like 10 kills in a game. So let me know what your experience is right now with the new playlist, guys. I'm super happy about them. I'll definitely will be playing them on my Twitch channel, guys, like I mentioned earlier. Let me know what you think about the challenge changes. I think they are a very good step in the right direction. And overall, a very much needed addition to the Halo Infinite experience for multiplayer. And, but if you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.